Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are touring my finished Dazzle Beach on Disney Dreamlight Valley. As we get started, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future. It really does help me out. And with all that being said, let's start the tour. So we're going to be starting right here at the beginning of Dazzle Beach. It's like this really skinny strip of land and honestly this is one of the hardest areas I think I have ever decorated in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Like many Disney Disney Dream My Valley players, I went for something more boardwalk related since I feel like it's a little bit easier to work with, but the difference for this area is I didn't use any villager homes. Instead of also doing just a vertical line of the plank pathing, I did some little angles and different interesting windy paths through the build itself. I just wanted to do something a little bit more different and not as structured, and I really love the results of this. My negative with this location though on the beach is the fact that I can't decorate close to where the water is, so it looks a little bit empty over there but I still think I made best of the space that I had. Another plus about this Dazzle Beach design that I'm showing y'all today is it's 100% fully functional. Every mining node can be accessed and that was my biggest priority because I really need to resource grind. Another thing I really wanted to share with you today too is I'm planning to flatten all this in preparation for a new summer theme and I'm thinking about doing something maybe Little Mermaid related. I just think that this would be a really fun Dazzle Beach theme and also quite the challenge to create. However, closer to summer, I really hope that they bring us some new like under the sea themed items or maybe just mermaid inspired. The next spot on my Dazzle Beach is this beach market and this was actually the very first build that I did with the new Eternity Isle DLC. We actually did this I think a couple of days after the release of the DLC so I was very excited to do this build on my beach and it actually inspired my desert city build and I have videos of all of these actually on my channel in my Disney Dream My Valley playlist. This build also kind of determined how I wanted the entire Dazzle Beach to be themed. I just really wanted something that kind of felt like a beach market throughout the entire biome. I wanted a lot of colors, lots of like little market stalls and boats everywhere. The one thing that I wish I could have fit into my Dazzle Beach was actually using Casita over here and turning it into like a hotel build, but I just didn't have enough space for that. And the reason I really wanted to incorporate Casita over here is because I did like this beach plaza area, which you're gonna see in a few minutes next to this large market spot. I just think that it would have complemented this build really nicely, but of course, Dazzle Beach was just way too small to fit that building. Before we check out the next area on Dazzle Beach, I wanted to get a few overhead shots on how my market area over here looks and just how the pathing is connecting over to the skinny area that we saw in the beginning of this tour. And I've had many people ask me this question, but that little great item is actually a premium shop item and I use it on my city core builds on Disney Dream My Valley, but I thought it was a really nice additional detail to this market build. So I just really loved how this kind of gave the pathing something a little bit more interesting to look at. I also moved Moana's boat over here, which I think was a great addition to the beach market build and also placed Donald's boat over here too. As mentioned earlier in my tour, I kept my whole entire Dazzle Beach functional. So over on this side of the beach, you can access every single mining node. You can also enter the cave. And I just wanted to make sure that natural resources could still spawn too. So even though that this is heavily decorated, because I know a lot of people are conflicted on decorating like this in Disney Dream My Valley, I've left gaps in between the natural pathways for natural resources to still spawn. Anyways, the next spot on my Dazzle Beach is this little plaza area and this was actually inspired by my friend Elle on YouTube. I will have her channel linked in the video's description. For this location I combined three of her different builds into one design and I just really like how it looked for this beach market vibe that I was going for. This is also that location earlier where I mentioned how I really wanted Casita to work in this build.
the beach house over here. This was also from the premium shop. I'm thinking about either turning it into a Lilo and Stitch themed house or maybe doing a beach themed restaurant. So let me know which you think would be the best fit for this in the comments section below. For the last spot on Dazzle Beach, we're gonna visit Skull Rock Island and this was a speed build as well. Most of everything that you're seeing on my beach today has been documented on live streams or on videos. I kind of kept in theme with my beach market, but also add some pirate decorations over here. And where you see those two boats, I actually had Eric's ship over here too, but I currently moved it back to where my beach market was because originally I was using my own house skin as a detail for that speed belt. So that's why that is not over there. Anyways, that's it for today's beach tour. I hope it brought you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Let me know if you plan to recreate some areas on your valley in the comment section below. Before this video ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so very much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day.